The University of Huddersfield welcomed the Chair of the Heritage Lottery Fund for Yorkshire and Humberside, Mr Gary Verity, to the campus to open the new 1.6 million archive centre named Heritage Key. Heritage Key combines state-of-the-art with the traditional to create one of the most technologically advanced archives in the country. Mr Verity was welcomed to the University by the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Bob Cryan. Mayor, Mayoress, Bob, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today uh, and for the avoidance of doubt I am not here to talk about cycling, <laughs> uh, which is great for my point of view, just to have a, have a session off away from, uh, from cycling and even better to be here, uh, Bob, at this fantastic uh, new facility uh, which we at the Heritage Lottery Fund have been uh, really pleased to be able to support obviously in a major way. Um, my colleague Fiona and many of the other team here are, are here from HLF and I'll talk a little bit about HLF in just a second. Um, but we receive um, applications in from lots of organisations in all walks of life, right the way across uh, Yorkshire and the Humber, who are all desperate to, to get their hands on some HLF, on some lottery um, funding. And it's very competitive, very competitive indeed. And uh, Fiona and the team, quite rightly, before they come through to the committee that we uh, select who gets the money, um, really set the bar very high indeed and very high standards to get through. Uh, and uh, I can tell you for you, Bob, and the team here to get one and a half million of HLF money uh, into this project, together with the money that you put in making about a two million pound project, is really significant. So congratulations to Tim for having the vision and for your excellent team here, Bob, to be able to get you through to the stage where we're here uh, today at the opening of this uh, fantastic and inspirational archive facility. I firmly believe that all of us here are in the inspiration business. Uh, we're here to inspire people, in your case Bob, to choose this uh, university to do their, uh, their next stage of their learning. Uh, as, as members of the staff of the university to be inspirational in themselves uh, with the students and for us at HLF to hopefully help other people be inspirational uh, as well by, by uh, exhibiting the nation's heritage in whatever form that takes. Uh, in as inspirational way as possible. And you, I'm sure, will agree, if you haven't seen that wall, you will agree when you've seen it, you will not get much more inspirational than a giant toy like that. <laughs> um, which, amazingly, I had a go on earlier and I didn't manage to break. I normally manage to break most items of technology until that's still working, which is something of a minor um, uh, relief uh, to me. Uh, and I'm sure that this facility here at Heritage Key will go on um, to become a major source of research not just in the region, but wider than that. Uh, and obviously, as you know, it includes uh, not just politics, not just uh, the social side of things, not just the industrial side of things, but passions for me, which are music, and in particular, as with you, Bob, sport. Um, and indeed, one of your colleagues, I was already looking at there for a relative of mine who used to play rugby league many years ago. And so many of you will, I'm sure, do exactly uh, the same of that. Let me just say a few brief words about HLF, if, I, if you will indulge me for a moment. Uh, we are 20 years old. Uh, this year, the Heritage Lottery, the Lottery, the National Lottery is 20 years old um, this year and over the last 20 years we have funded 37,000 different projects across the UK, that's uh, about over £300 million a year. We've raised in total £6 billion for good causes in the heritage sector which is a huge amount of money without which I goodness only knows what state the nation's heritage uh, would uh, have been in. That has enabled us in Yorkshire and the Humber to give out over the last 20 years some £445 million, pounds, uh, over 3,100 projects of all types. Just go on our website and have a look at that and you'll see that there is a massive range of diversity of projects from landscapes to uh, buildings to museums to galleries to archives. Just have a look. It is quite, quite incredible and I have been honoured to uh, play an extremely small part in that. Uh, uh, and try and support the team in whatever way that I can over the last um, uh, few years. Um, for those of you who buy a, a lottery ticket, either regularly or from time to time, I can tell you that you and 32 million other tickets were purchased just for this archive here. So when you buy your tickets on a Saturday or whatever you might do, or as I do from time to time, if I've got guests coming, I would buy ticket for all the guests and we can all see who's not won on the Saturday night. <laughs> um, 
you think, being involved with it as I am, Bob, I would have some minor influence to ensure some major, minor or major degree of success. I've had none whatsoever. Um, uh, but from your lottery ticket, a slice of that goes into the bucket for good causes. And in order to fund this, from a HLF point of view, from the one and a half million, 32 million tickets were bought. So that just gives you a, a kind of idea as to how that all works. And I hope you agree, as certainly I do and the team do, that if you or any of your friends or relatives are, are, are indeed purchased of lottery tickets, your lottery money has been spent wisely here. So I commend you and the team, Bob, and I hope that uh, you'll all get a chance to have a look at the archive over the next few minutes and you'll come back time and time again and spread the word about this fantastic fantastic facility which we as HLF have been honoured to be part of. Thank you very much indeed. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.